Or tells the story of true American heroes. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we're about fixing to get into a pretty good gunfight. The film depicts Lieutenant Michael Murphy, the Navy SEAL who gave his life in Afghanistan, earning him the Medal of Honor and a memorial in his name. But now that memorial is shattered and a 14 year old boy is facing charges for vandalism. This hits uh, very close to home for our next guest who served alongside Lieutenant Murphy. Former Navy SEAL and lone survivor Marcus Luttrell joins us now. Marcus, thanks for being here this morning. Uh, you can shatter a monument. You can't shatter the legacy of, of a man like this who gave everything alongside you for this nation. But talk to us about how it feels when you wake up hearing that someone would have done this to memorial to someone so great as Murph. Well, good morning, Abby, good morning. Pete. Good morning. And um, it, it's tough. I mean, I, especially for the family, I, I would imagine that, you know, that was a just kind of blew their minds. And in the beginning, when I heard about it, somebody that busted up their memorial, I'm, I'm sure I felt just like you did, Pete. I'm like, I, when you get a hold of the guy, make sure you give me a call so I can come down and hang out with him for a little while. <laughs> but I heard it was a, um, you know, 14 year old boy. And, um, and I made a lot of mistakes when I was 14. And uh, I mean, I think we all did. Sometimes when we're coming into our own, becoming a man, we're confused. And some, you know, I know a lot of these millennials are confused about some things. and. Uh, it, it's tough. It's tough. I I, uh, I was talking with Melanie about it. And believe it or not, if anything, I, I would take the the reward money and rebuild that 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 monument because mm -hmm. if you knew Mike Murphy, you knew that he wouldn't want a memorial build that after him. I mean, he had just much fire in him. Probably that 14 year old boy does. So mm -hmm. uh, send him to me. Take that kid. Don't put him in jail. You send him out here to me, man. I'll put him to work and and kind of um and. Yeah. Show him what kind of man Mike was and, and, and the legacy that he left behind because we all make mistakes and and, and we push past them. That's how we become the men that, that, that we're, we're bound and destined to be. And um, yeah. I think it's incumbent upon us to, to, to cut people a little slack sometimes, especially now. Granted, he should pay, you know, he's going to have to to work that off. I mean, to do that, to dishonor that, he needs to know how big of a deal it was, especially to the to that community and actually to our country because Mike, he's a special, he's a special man. I mean, he, he gave his life uh, fighting and uh, for this country and and right beside me, I was there when he died. So those, those memorials that are erected all across our country are reminders of just how special some of our guys can be and how much they yeah. put in and how much effort and sacrifice they make to keep everybody safe. But Marcus and ultimately, I was going to say also yeah, just I think a reminder of taking any positive from the story maybe what we can teach this next generation of about respect about the importance of what our military does people like you people like Pete that put their life on the line to fight for our freedoms every day can we do a better job as a country to help teach these younger kids the sacrifice and the, and the respect that they all deserve that you deserve. I normally wouldn't say this out loud, but I, I, I kind of, from my perspective and what I do for a living, how I travel around the country now and, and integrate into our, our, our people, I, I think I'd like to tell everybody just take a deep breath and uh, take a step back and relax a little bit, okay? And, and uh, kind of unwind. And they're getting to a point to where someone will do something and the automatic reaction is to do something harder and faster and more judgmental. When in reality, when you make a mistake, if you, you know, we all have these moods that we swing through and you do something dumb and now I'm going to, you know, I'm going to kill you for it or I'm going to put you in prison forever or I'm just going to completely shut you off. It's not the way it works, especially 14 years old, man. His hormones are running through him. Like, I don't know the full story on, on, on his background yet, but I remember being 14 and doing some dumb stuff. So I, I, uh, Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it's, I mean, especially with our kids, you right. know, take a step back and, and relax and just kind of say, hey, man, we're, you're going down the wrong uh, rabbit hole, the wrong path. Marcus, I'm gonna, we're going to pull you back and go different direction. Marcus, yes. if you could sit down for just five minutes with this 14 year old, just the two of you, what would you say to him about Michael Murphy? Well, the first thing I would ask that kid is, I was like, hey, why don't you talk to me about what's going on? And then the second thing I tell him, I was like, you don't have any idea how much uh, that guy. Uh, you have inside of you, okay? I mean, and you, you're disappointed and you're upset right now, but I, I was talking to Melanie about this last night. I was like, you know, now that he got busted and he, he kind of realized what he did, I I hope to get great things out of that kid. I mean, look in the future and that he, that turned his life around and, and made him into something that, that he wasn't. 
and and if you I know it's hard to push people in the right direction and to, and to keep on someone's back and, and, and trying to help them as opposed to just letting them go down the bad road but man we got to do that I mean that's I have kids now I get it and they mess up all the time Marcus what would I don't... Um, and it was a lot of times I get Marcus what would Michael Murphy what would he say to this 14 year old what would his advice be well <laughs> I would imagine that would go in a couple of different directions, depending on the day you caught Mikey in. But uh, now, now, that we're, now that we're older, I mean, it's upsetting. I mean, first of all, the time and effort that it took to erect something like that for the community, that just didn't belong to our family. It belonged to everybody, right? So for one person to come up there and bust it up, he, he needs to be, you know, he needs to stand for that. And um, I'm sure that's what Mikey would say. He's like, you know, you're going to have to fess up and then pay up for what you did and take your legs kind of deal and then from now we're going to figure out what's got you so riled up and then we're going to try and fix it man because i didn't like that monument anyways i'm glad you busted it you know something crazy <laughs> would have come out of mikey's mouth just to kind of bring some levity to the whole situation Humility. that's what he was great at it didn't matter the whole yeah no matter what kind of situation we were in he could drop something like that mm -hmm. and i think if someone talked to that kid as opposed to the trouble he's in i heard he got snatched out of his room at three o'clock in the morning and beat, you know that's that's <laughs> that can be a little bit frightening so he he he's in a world that he doesn't even know about yeah. and um i'd hate for him to have to stay in that but make no mistake he messed up and i'm not giving him a pass on that no. he should be out there cleaning up the park or send him out to me and i'll work him out here on the ranch all summer to pay for it but <laughs> uh, we know that we know you're, you 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 have a lot of grace and a lot of perspective in how you're articulating it today much like michael murphy's dad who said that and Murph would have taken him under his wing and kind of said, hey, man, like you said, you're on the wrong path. And let me teach you how to get back on the right one. It's a message a lot of people need to hear. It's why we called you this morning to get your perspective. Marcus, thanks well, for being on the show. I mean, that's what was, absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, you Marcus. It, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. All right. A Fox News alert. A massive